show so glad to have you with us once again another exciting half hour of fun excitement all kinds of neat things Clyde camcorder and special guests we're gonna get the show roller right now with what we do every week let's let's say it together let's, let's make, make a scribble. scribble this week ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna have not two but three scribblers yeah two but three scribblers let's see come on down come on down let's bring this guy down and um, there, uh, this girl right here, come on down, okay. Two girls and a boy. I gotta favor the girls, you know, this week. They look pretty. Uh, kids, what's your names? I'm Leslie. Let's turn towards the camera. This is Leslie, your name? Charlene. Charlene. Joseph. Joseph, okay, Joseph. Now what we're gonna do is this. Uh, Charlene? Leslie. Leslie. Leslie, you're gonna get to make just a quick move on there. Nothing more than that. One move on there. We ready? One, two, three, go. There it is. Okay. Now, thank you, Leslie. You can step back to where you were sitting. And your name's Charlene. Charlene, I would like to see a scribble right down in that area. At the count of three. Down in this area. One, two, three. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. He's, I tell you, these kids, they just want to draw the whole thing. And George, no. Joseph. Joseph. Okay, Joseph, you've got a little bit left there, Joseph. Let's go in the middle somewhere. That's it, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, you in the audience, you need to help us. Let's take a good look. This time it's a triple scribble, triple scribble. Okay, gang, help us out. What do we see there besides lots of lines? 
Could it possibly be a Picasso? Yeah. What's a is Picasso? it a Picasso was a great artist who used to make all kinds of funny looking things and made millions. <laughs> that does look more. Here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, help me. Let's take a good close look. I got a tough one today. A waterfall. A road. I see a road. A river. Uh, where's the river at? Boy, you guys sure weren't easy on me. I see a froggy there. A vase with a handle. Where's that at there, Paddywhack? Handle here? Hey, I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going with Pat's idea. It's kind of a wild looking vase. Couple little nice spring flowers, hey kids? You know? Okay, now uh, it's kind of a real snazzy one, isn't it? What are we gonna do here? We gonna, we gonna make what? We'll make it kind of an Indian vase. How about an Indian vase? You know, you've seen those kind with the little funny lines on it from, from Taos, New Mexico or somewhere, you know? Oh, down the long way? Here, we'll just go ahead and run a couple more. Hey, look at we ended up with kind of a, let's put it this way, maybe it's a vase that got caught at 110 degrees or something and it, it juggled a little bit. There we go. We'll put it right here on a nice, oh, and of course, since we got the vase there, then over here we'll have us a nice little glass for tea, or oh, whatever. Communion, a little champagne, a couple of bubbles. There we go. Hey, let's hear for the three scribblers, okay? All right. Okay, once again, as every week, we've got our special guest Clyde Camcorder. I wonder what he's up to. We're gonna find out right now. So let's give Clyde Camcorder a great welcome on the fun show. Yeah, right Hi, here. kids. Clyde Camcorder here again, taking a little walk outside of uh, Oakhurst, California, and uh, here they are. Once again, the, the Airborne Rangers. Let's, hey. Pastor hey, Brian, what are you doing up here in the hills? Well, just following you guys around, man. I mean, what are you guys doing out here by the creek? Oh, we've been having some prayer and some good time of fellowship and, and I'm giving them a class on breaking concrete. You said breaking concrete? Yeah, no, concrete. Con oh, concrete, excuse me. <laughs> not breaking by the creek, you're, breaking concrete. You're not going to break that stuff with your head, are you, you Pastor? No, I'm going to break it with my hand. You really are? Right. Would you like to see it? Kids, do you want to see it? Yep, we want to see it. Let, let's let's see you go for it, man. I mean, wow. I'm going to attempt to break this with my fist. Okay. This is concrete oh. used in building. All righty. Oh, my. Oh, boy, oh, boy. See what he does. Go for it, Pastor. You wish you... <laughs> Goodness, kids, kids. <laughs> you like that, Clyde? Well, are your knuckles still there yet? I oh, mean, they're still there, still fine. That's amazing. Things practice now, kids and Clyde. Don't you be practicing this? Okay, I, I won't. I okay, won't. It's very dangerous. I, We're gonna show you some more. Would you like to see another break? I, hey, I think the kids. Will, boy. Now I did the first break with this part of my hand. Now Mike Mars is gonna break with this part of his hand. It's called a ridge hand break. Again, it's very dangerous. Don't practice it unless you're trained. Okay, you want to see that? You better believe it. The I think you'll like this one, Clyde. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, you see right. that, Mike? Uh, yes, uh, sir. Mike, here. Oh, there's Mike, gang. Uh, Mike, I wish you the best. Okay, all righty, kids. Mike is going to break one of the students, Pastor Brian's, up here in Oakhurst. He's going to go ahead and attempt to break that cement. Oh, I wish him the best. Of, oh, my. Excuse me. Yeah! Oh, 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 good way. Wow, that this is great. This is fantastic. That was called a ridge handbrake. Yeah. And now we're going to show you my son, Bonner, who's 16. He's going to break with his elbow eight inches of concrete. Uh, Pastor Brian, is there any chance that they can actually break a bone if they do it the wrong way? 
yes, there is a chance if you don't train, but what we do is take all the chance out of it by training and starting with boards and working the bones and strengthening the hands and the muscles so we don't take any chances. We make sure that we practice and we're ready for every break. But if, a, if you were to try this Clyde without practice, yes, you might hurt yourself. So don't, you know, don't try this unless you're trained to do it. Oh, all right, okay, okay. Are you ready for another break? Yep, yep, we're ready. Okay, right. here's Bonner's gonna break eight inches with the... Oh boy, Pastor Brian's boy, Bonner, is gonna break this with his elbow. Let's get in close on this one. Yeah, I, I don't know. All right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Get it. Get it. Now, Clyde, this is all just works of the flesh. The Bible says that bodily exercise profits for a little time, but godliness is profitable for all things. We seek God first. This is just a hobby. We use this to strengthen our body so that we can serve the Lord with all of our might. You need to get some exercise, Clyde. I can see you're getting a little flabby. Hey, hey, no, no, knock it off. Knock it off, man. Pastor Brian, thank you so much. And the Airborne Rangers kids, Clyde Camcorder, on the streets. Bye. Bye-bye, Clyde. Oh, we like that, Clyde. He's a neat guy, man. He's a neat guy. Hey, yeah. this is Bible story time, gang. This week, we're going to draw about someone very little and someone very big. Okay? We're going to start right over here. <laughs> kind of a neat looking fella here, isn't he, huh? Oh, I need, oh, I guess we're looking okay. I was going to have a couple kids help me. Help, come on, why don't you stand up here, sweetie, and hang on to this side, and yes, you, come on up and hold this side, okay? So we make sure this old drawing board doesn't fall over for Ted, okay? Thank you. There you go, stand, there you go. Your name is? Michelle and? Thank you. Socorro, oh, I like that name. Okay. Okay. This guy was kind of a, he was the youngest of many, many brothers. You know that? Matter of fact, I think he had about 11 brothers. Well, that was Joseph. Seven, was there seven brothers? I'm trying to remember how many brothers this guy had. But I'll tell you one thing that this guy and I have in common. You know what that is? Nope. Nope. What do you think I've got in common with that guy right there? Jesus. We both love Jesus. Yes, but something else. No. He had a slingshot when he was a kid, and I had a slingshot when I was a kid. See that little slingshot there? Have any of you kids ever had a slingshot? Make your own slingshots. They're kind of fun. You know, and guess what's in that hand? His little rock, yeah. And I almost imagine you guys can figure out who he is now. Yeah. His name, let's just call him Davy. Okay, he was the little guy in our story. The big guy, oh boy. The big guy, well, I tell you, this big guy was a meanie. As a matter of fact, he used to come out every day and he used to give, put a pimple on him. I'll put a couple there. There, there we go. There's the pimples on him. This guy was the biggest guy in the neighborhood. Did you know that, kids? Biggest guy in the neighborhood. We put a big G on his, on his shield there. A big G. He was a bully. Kind of a bully. He used to go out and make fun of Dave and all of Dave's friends because they were small and he used to say, hey, if your God is such a big shot, why doesn't uh, one of you guys come on out and uh, beat me up, see? And uh, I don't quite recall how they, he had on a nice pair of shorts there and he had on his little fancy knee guards, huh? kind of like football. Soccer, huh? And we're gonna put some, I mean, look at those shoes on this guy. Whoa, my, my, my. Big dude, huh? There he is. And here's his G. We'll darken up the G there. G stands for what, gang? Goliath. Goliath. There he is with his big old belt buckle on. 
And so you see what happened was um, Goliath kept coming out and giving the, the Israelites a bad time. He was from the Philistine tribe. And one day they said, we got it. What are we going to do about this? Guess who shows up? The little guy. And guess what this little guy was doing for a living? You won't believe what he was doing for a living. He was tending sheep seas. There they are, standing behind him, little sheep seas. There's the little sheep seas standing back there, okay? A couple little sheep seas standing behind David, and this is Goliath. Well, kids, can you tell me what happened? The Lord allowed a miracle to take place, Michelle. You know what happened that day? Goliath finally came out once too often, and he started giving the Israelites a bad time. And little Davy, he got his slingshot picked up. But you see now, David had been practicing all those years he was watching over sheep. Because you know what he'd have to do? He'd have to kill bear. He'd have to kill wolves. Lions. Lions. He had to protect those sheep. He, I'd say he was a marksman, wouldn't you? He was pretty accurate. But he still knew he had to trust God. He went after Goliath. I want you to know who won. Huh? David! Who won? David! He hit him where? Look at this, kids. Here lies Big G right there. What does that look like, kids? A tombstone in a graveyard. Oh, I don't know if he's resting in peace. Well, anyhow, what happened was Big G got the ax because of little Davy, right, gang? Yeah. So remember, you're never too little. You're never too little to be used by God to do something big. God likes to use, they say, the foolish things, the little things of life. He's always done it. Read the Bible and find out. Hey, it's time we bring on our special guest of the day. Let's give a good hand to Forerunner right here on the Fun Show. Hey, hey, here they come right now. Without you, I just can't go on. I've tried and I've tried to go alone, but I failed to live a life on my own. Only you can give me the light that I need when I walk in the night. And through all the trials and the troubles I see, I try to come hold on to me. To be the way you want me to be And through 
through all the trials and the troubles I see, I try to come hold on to me. from the Sanger Reedley area in California. Glad to have them on the program today. Hey, we have already got a guy up here, a neat guy from the Sanger, your name, sir? Stephen Lawson. Stephen Lawson. Stephen, we're already working on Steve here today. He's our character of the week. I kind of, kind of a lean, tall machine here, you know? So uh, we just thought we'd, uh, you know, work on uh, dialing him up a little bit. I see he's got an LA cap on there, huh? You know? And uh, what kind of a... What do you like to do the best, huh? I like to go fishing. You like to go fishing, huh? Well, good. Let's go ahead and send our man fishing. Let's do it. Put him in his shorts. It's 100 degrees outside, probably, you know. Okay. Darken up his shorts here a little bit. Here he is. His little fishing pole is. He's got himself a, a prospect for the next cast. There. That guy wonders what's going on. Put a little boat, a little motor in the back there for him. Okay. Got a beautiful day out, the sun is shining, couple birds are in the sky. Now, do you think he's caught anything, kids? Do you think he has, huh? Now, look at this. This is kind of the... Look at that poor little wormy. He thought he was going, he thought he was going for a joyride. And that guy is ready to have lunch, man, at McDonald's or something here, you know. There he is. I don't know what kind of what's your name again? Steve, right? How do we spell that? S-T? That it? I hope it's that way, huh? Okay, let me sign that on the bottom. Let's give Steve a good hand. There's Stevie. Steve, right there it is. Go ahead and take it home with you. Hey, we'd like to remind you that uh, if you'd like to be on the show sometime, your church group or whatever group you've got, you're cordially invited to write us right here at The Fun Show. The Fun Show, Post Office Box 8536.
Fresno, 8356. Fresno 93727, okay? Post Office Box 8356, Fresno 93727. Or if you'd like the Fun Show team to come out to your camp, your church, your convention, your retreat or whatever, and put on some fun for the kids and the whole family, we'd be happy to do it, okay? We've got a special guest to wrap up our show today. We're glad that you could join us. We're going to finish up the show with Uncle Johnny and Patty Whack. They're here again this week. Let's give them a warm welcome. Come on up here, guys. Uncle Johnny, it's so good to see you again. Here, Johnny, um, let me put this onto your tie. I like his tie, folks. Take a look at that. Let's get a close-up of the... Court. Yeah, we'll get a close-up of that tie on, on him once. Isn't that nice? Johnny's been playing music for many years. We thought we'd let John take a break from the old saxophone and uh, do, a, do a thing. Uh... Johnny, what are you going to sing today? We're going to help you out. What's this tune called? A song from White Christmas. White Christmas. Here it goes. Let's see it. We can sing along. When you are worried and you can't sleep, you count your blessings instead of sheep and your go to sleep, counting your blessings. Let's try one more time, gang. Here we go, everybody. When you are worried and you You count your blessings instead of sheep, and you'll Everybody. go to sleep, counting your blessings. So thank you for being with us, gang. We hope to see you next week. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Come on, gang. Let's greet each other. All righty. Good job, John. Thank you. Next week, we've got to say bye-bye.